So now we're going to focus on the arithmetic series, right? So um, I want us to talk about this term series. So when you talk of a series, we're talking of things that follow each other, right? Things are in series, right? Something is following another. So. Um, when you're dealing with arithmetic series, we're going to be using this formula here of Sn is equals to n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d close bracket. So this is the formula that we'll be using in our arithmetic series problems, right? So now um the main thing that you need to know now is how do we derive this formula how do we form this formula here so this is how we do it so let me erase it so um in arithmetic series we're talking of things following each other right just like terms following each other right instead of writing term number one term number two term number three you see there's commas term number four we're not going to include commas. We're just going to write them in addition form because we're talking of a sum in arithmetic series. So if let's say, for example, I said sum number one is equals to T1, right? Then sum number two should be equals to T1 plus T2. Sorry about that. So plus T2. So this is sum number two, meaning that sum number three would mean T1 plus T2 plus T3, right? And then sum number four should be T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T4. You can see that um, the more sum you have, the more you add from the previous sums, right? Um, we have sum number one, which is T1, but T2 is formed, is formed from the first term, right? The first sum. And then the uh, sum number three uh, or sum S3 is formed from these two sums, right? So as you go, you are using the previous sums to form the next sum, right? So hence we say um, a series. It's a series of terms that form sums. So if let's say, for example, um, as I said, we want to identify the formula of an arithmetic series, which I indicated as Sn being equals to n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1d, right? So let's derive this, this uh, formula here. So we're going to use um, the sum to derive this. So we're going to say Sn is formed by, why am I saying Sn? Because I don't know the number of terms that form the sum, right? So I'm just going to say Sn. I'm not going to say S1 or S2. I'm just going to say Sn. So the sum, because it's an arithmetic series, Remember, we did arithmetic sequence, right? Um, let me remind you with that formula. So arithmetic sequence had a formula of Tn is equals to A plus into N minus 1 multiplied by D. So the arithmetic series, this sum is formed by the arithmetic sequence general formula, right? So what do I mean by this? Is that if I want to identify the sum of Sn, which is formed by the first term, is formed by the second term, is formed by the third term. You can continue up until you reach um, t of n minus 2 plus t of n minus 1 plus t of n, right? Up until you reach t of n. So this t1 comes from the formula of Tn is equals to A plus uh, into N minus 1 multiplied by D, right? So to find T1, we're going to say, um, we're going to use the formula of Tn is equals to A plus N minus 1 D. 
So T1 is equal to A plus into 1 minus 1 multiplied by D, right? So this 1 minus 1 gives us 0, so meaning that our T1 is equal to A, right? So to find T2, we're going to say A plus into 2 minus 1 multiplied by D, giving us A plus D, right? Because 2 minus 1 gives us 1. And then to find T3 is going to be A plus into 3 minus 1 multiplied by D, giving us A plus 2D. So now we're having our first three terms. So let's write them in this sum formula. So we're going to say SN is equal to our first term, which is this A here. So it's going to be A plus our second term, which is A plus D. So it's going to be A plus D plus our third term, which is A plus 2D, right? Continuing to T of N minus 2. Um, let me write it properly. So it's going to continue to T of N minus 2 plus T of N minus 1 plus T of N, right? So now um, what we need to do is this. We need to write the reverse of this sum, right? So now we have this sum here. We need to write the reverse of it, right? So for us to write the reverse of it, we're going to um so we're going to write another sum here which is equals to so we're going to put in the last term to become the first term so what is our last term in this case it's this t of subscript n right so we're going to write it as our first term here so we're going to say t of n plus and then we write this one here as our second term so it's going to be t of n minus one and then we come with this one here, so it's going to be t of n minus 2, right? Plus, we're going to continue. So um, if this was our third term, it's going to come in as our uh, first term after this dotted. So it's going to be a plus 2d plus, and then we add this one here. So it's a, so let me just do this. Um, so it's going to be... Let me write it properly. So it's a plus 2d plus, and then we add this one here. So it's going to be a plus d. And then our last term is going to be a, right? So you can see that we just reversed um, this sum here. The sum which was a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d going up to t of n minus one, 2 plus t of n minus 1 plus t of n, right? So just reverse that. Um, so the next step would be to add this here. So, so we're going to add both sums, right? So meaning we're going to say the first top sum plus this bottom sum here. Uh, we're going to have 2 sn. So let me write my 2 properly. So it's going to be 2 sn is equal to. So we're just going to add everything up. Just going to add everything up. Going to add everything up like that, right? So meaning this a will be added with this uh, tn. This a plus d will be added with this one here, just like that. We're going to be adding this one here. So we're going to have um, a plus tn right let me put brackets plus a plus d plus t of n minus 1 right plus a plus 2d so we are here plus t of n minus 2 and then we're going to continue up to t of n minus 2 plus a plus 2d which is this one here and this and we will have plus t of n minus 1 which is this one here plus this one plus a plus d plus t of n plus a right so um we just added our sum so now we want to identify this here the values of these uh sums right 
So what we can do is this. Let's identify. So we having, we having. Let me just use another color. We having a plus t of n, right? But we know that t of n is equals to a plus into n minus one multiplied by d, right? So a plus t of n is actually equals to a plus a plus n minus one multiplied by d, right? So I'm just adding this a and this uh, value here, meaning I'm going to get 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d. So a plus t of n is equals to this answer here. Now let's find um, this one here, right? So let me use another color. So we're going to say a plus d plus t of n minus 1 is equals to so the n minus 1 i'm gonna substitute it in this formula so we're having the formula of tn is equals to a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d right but we want t of n minus 1 which is equals to a plus so where there's n i'm going to put in n minus 1 and then this original minus 1 will be there and then multiply by d right so we're gonna have a plus into n minus 2 multiplied by d so t of n minus 1 is equals to a plus into n minus 2 all multiplied by d so i'm gonna have my a plus d here plus this answer here that i found which is a plus into n minus 2 multiplied by d right so it's going to be a plus d plus a plus so the d will multiply everything that is inside so it's going to be n d minus 2 d right and then um it's equal to so i'm gonna add this a with this a so it's going to be a plus a let me write this a properly it looks like d so it's going to be a plus a plus d plus n d minus 2 d right so the a plus a will be 2 a plus and then the d minus 2 d is going to give us minus d right plus n d right and then uh the answer here will be 2a plus nd minus d so we can just factorize this right so it's going to be 2a plus open bracket n minus 1 multiplied by d right so this would be the answer so meaning that um a plus d plus t of n minus 1 gives us 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d you can notice that it's the same as this one here of a plus t of n so a plus t of n is the same as a plus d plus t of n minus one so what does this mean this means now that all these values that you have here all these values that you have here a plus t of n a plus d plus t of n minus one all of them will give you the same solution of 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d so you'll be having the same solution so you can simply just write the same solution so we'll simply say um 2sn is the same as um 2a plus into n minus 1 d plus 2a plus into n minus 1 d it's just going to continue plus 2a plus into n minus 1 d it's just going to continue all right so what is 2a plus n into n minus 1 d it is actually equals to a plus tn right so um what we can do here is this so since we're going to be getting the same thing over and over again so we don't have to write everything else we're just gonna say 2 of sn is equal to 2a plus n minus 1 d right Actually, let me write it properly so we're going to say because um now because we don't know how many terms are these 2a plus into n minus 1 d 2a plus into n minus 1 d we know that it's just going to continue 
we don't know up to what uh, number, right? Because we want to identify as n, right? So um, since we don't know up to what number, we're just going to say 2 of sn is equal to n, right? Because we don't know the number, we're going to say n. It's going to end at n terms, right? We don't know the number of terms that this sum is going to end. So it's going to be n terms. We're going to multiply it with what? With this um, value here of 2a plus into 1 minus 1. Sorry. So since we don't know where this sum will end, we're going to say 2 sn is equals to n, which this n means the number of terms. We don't know the number of terms. So it's going to end at a certain number of terms. So that's why you're going to say n. Multiply by multiply by this um, this thing here of 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d. So it's 2a plus, let me just put in brackets like this, into n minus 1 multiplied by d, right? So that is how we're going to derive this formula here. And then, since we have this, we're just going to divide by 2 both sides, and then we have sn being equals to n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1 multiplied by d. So we have derived the formula of an arithmetic series. So this is the sum that we normally use in arithmetic series. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.